Olympics do begin in London next Friday, so we wanted to know a little more about what it's really like behind the scenes to be an Olympian. And nobody knows that better than somebody who's been to the Olympics three times. We're talking first-hand knowledge here. Hazel Clark joins us. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me again. Okay, let's talk a little bit about what it takes to be an Olympic athlete. I mean, to talk just a little bit about the training, because that's insane. Yes, insane is a really good word. Um, it's usually, it's a full-time job. Um, I get up in the morning at 6 and do a four-mile run, come back and do weight training, get a little nap, a little bit of food, and then come back from 3 to 6 and train again on the track. So it's very rigorous, and it takes practically your whole day. So it's like two a days for football players. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, now you have been in three Olympics. You've been to three different international, you know, cities. What is it like? What, you know, what's it like to put on to represent your country and go to a foreign country and say, here I am competing? Well, I'll tell you, my favorite Olympics was definitely Australia. I mean, everything about it was amazing. The food, the people, the landscape, seeing the kangaroos jumping around. <laughs> I mean, I just was really sad to leave that country. It was the first time I left the country and felt really just like I really embraced the culture and I was sad to leave. Um, it's an amazing experience. Walking to the Olympic Village the first time, I was mesmerized and I was walking around and seeing all these different flags and different athletes and then sitting at the dining hall and there were athletes from China on one side and Greece on the other side and I felt like that's what the Olympic experience is about, about bringing the world together um, with the spirit of competition and I was glad to be a part of that. Tell us a little bit about what it's like in the Olympic Village and all of these places that we all kind of wish that we could see. <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you, I mean, the Olympic Village is usually a bunch of different houses. It's like a neighborhood that has the whole world in it, really. I mean, and it's got, um, everyone hangs their flag, and there's a lot of pride and a lot of athletes mingling. I remember an uh, experience that really touched me. An athlete from Africa came over and put a scarf around my neck and said, I saw you and your sisters run, and I thought it was so amazing, and I have looked for you through the whole village, oh. and I wanted to tell you good luck. And I was like, wow, you don't realize that we're all connected. And mm -hmm. it's just the, the most exciting experience it's really really hard to explain and to convey but it's just something that's once in a lifetime and, and just amazing it's a moment you sit and look around and you, you go where am I yes. I mean this is unbelievable so I ask you uh, during the break and I want you to share with our viewers were you starstruck by anyone any of the other athletes did you say oh my gosh they're so and so I'm going to tell you, Venus and Serena got me. Um, I was wearing my opening ceremonies outfit, and I looked across the room, and I'm like, they're dressed exactly like me. This is so weird, you know? <laughs> and I was really excited. I took a picture with them and with my sisters, and it was kind of like the whole sister thing, and it was really, really fun to be a part of that. Um, as Olympians, you'll be surprised. Even the most well-known athletes, uh, at the end of the day, we all just feel like teammates. Nobody had this these airs. I mean, we ate at the same places and all walked around the village together and had some of the same experiences. So it's a really good feeling. I love to hear that. Well, you come back and you're just, you're loved by everyone because yes. you've gone and you've represented us so proudly. Tell me about some of the dignitaries and some of the cool things that you got to do when you came home. Well, I'll tell you one cool thing that I got to do during the Olympic Games was I got a private tour from the Crocodile Hunter um, with the USA track and field team, and he took us around, and we were able to hold some exotic animals, a big snake, which was crazy, and then I held a koala bear. It was really cute and cuddly, but I'll tell you, if you ever wear, hold a koala bear, wear shoulder pads. I mean, it dug into my shoulders, <laughs> but it was so much fun, and I will never forget that. I'll never forget that. Um, that was a cool experience, and then obviously being invited to the White House. As an mm -hmm. Olympian, you get a personal invite to the White House, and um, I was really impressed with Bill Clinton. He shook my hand, and I'll never forget the words he said. He said, you made your country proud. Congratulations. And that was a moment where I kind of stood back and said, wow, I worked hard for this, and I accomplished something that's really special. Mm -hmm. It is. You're in such an elite group when you are an Olympian that I think for the rest of your life, you'll be able to say something that very few people get to say. I think it's a really cool club. And they say once you're an Olympian, you're always one. And I feel that way. You know, some people say former. That really doesn't exist with us. It's like a big family. Um, we're supportive of the teams, the future teams. Um, it's a bond. You work so hard to get there, and it's an experience that it's hard to understand, but it's, it's amazing. It's life-changing. Oh, I bet. Now, did, just real quick, because we're almost out of time. Did you see any of the swimming going on here at, at the UT Aquatic Center? I wasn't. I actually left town really quickly, so I missed that. But um, I heard that there was a lot of excitement, and there <laughs> yeah. should be. Those yeah. athletes work hard, and they're great athletes, and I wish I could have been in town to, to see them up close. How neat that you, I mean, they came to town for that. So cool. I know. Well, thank you you so much for sharing your experiences with us. Oh, it's thank just, you. I could hear you talk about it all day. I know. <laughs> so intriguing. <laughs> all right. Well, Hazel, it's going to be a Your Stories coming up, too, during the yes. Olympics. We're shooting it tomorrow. We can't wait for that as well. Thank you. Thank you.